Hi, Sharon here at Chipper Farm, and I am getting ready to get two pigs. They are um, a male and a female, and I've been told that the female is pregnant. So this pen was already here on my property. I just had to put a gate on it and secure this a little better. Still have to tack the gate over to the cross post. But this is going to be one pen. I know it's a little bit small, but we'll let, make sure that they get to roam around. And then over here, I'm going to build the other pen so that the male and the female don't have to be together. It's Miss Piggy and Wilbur. So we have Miss Piggy and Wilbur coming. So I'm going to incorporate those dark stones over there were here and they're cemented in. The white ones here are new so I can build that pen in a little bit and that will be the shelter for this pen for the hog. So I'm going to dig some more post holes and start putting some fencing up on this area to get ready for the pigs that I'm going to be getting in a couple of weeks. So I've got the pile of wood here, and these were just some trees that were cut down, and I'm going to use them as the fence post because that's what I have right now, and I have enough of them to do this project. I've set a couple of posts already, finish that up, dig a few more posts, and continue on this project. Who needs a gym when you have post hole diggers? All right, I've got a little bit more accomplished. I have one of the posts that's going to hold the gate up. This is going to be the gate, the old bed frame, because that's what I have, and it will fit the lawnmower through it. So I just got to put the fencing up, put some hardware on the gate to make sure I know where to put the other post. It's going to be one more post right here. That'll be the other side of the gate. Then we'll put the fencing up. And I am going to put a camper top for a truck on top of those cinder blocks, and that'll be the shelter. Chipper, are you helping out with the weeds? You're looking so beautiful. I love your coloring. With that copper bolus, it's really coming back now. Digging the trench now. I'm not sure how far I'll be able to go into the ground with these trees here. These are the roots to those thorny vines that grow here. 
Maybe the pigs will help me get rid of those. Okay, I'm just getting home after probably the biggest rainstorm that we've seen in months, and I wonder what the goats have to say about that. Hi, Pixie. Did you guys stay dry? Chipper and Diamond on top of the chicken coop. I'll be back in a few minutes, guys. I've got something for the pig pen that I have to drop off, and then I'll come back and get you guys. Alright, so here's the pig pen that I'm working on right now, and that's going to be the shelter. And look what I got the pigs. A bathtub. Even got some water. We got some rain today. And I was able to pick up a box of food. I might freeze some. And I'll put some in the maggot bucket. And draw some more flies over the chicken tractor. Oh, these pigs are going to be so happy. Alright, I'm going to continue working on the pig pen, get some of this fencing up, and see what I can get accomplished before I lose daylight today.
say the tree is winning. Okay, so I wove a strand of this chain link fence through to the other piece and I'm going to staple this now to the tree to make it tight and then I'm going to pull all of this around and staple this chain link fence for the pigs. Alright, so I have stapled the fencing to the tree and stretched it across the back of the pig pen. And here is what I did to get it tight. I put the metal bar in so I wouldn't damage the fence. And then I put two straps and pull them exactly where you want them to go. Don't go higher, don't go lower. Just pull them where you need to go. And if there's not something there and I can pull the truck around, I'll attach them to the hitch of the truck and tighten the fence that way. So I'm going to staple it in now and hopefully get all this chain link on this side of the gate finished before I lose light. Alright, so I have the fence weaved in and out the way I want it to go on the outside of the corner post and the inside where the pigs are. And now I'm going to go get the truck and hook it up again and pull it tight and do this next line. All right, I've got it stretched pretty tight now. Not bad. So I'm going to put the staples in it along the posts, and I'm going to brace this because I'm holding it really tight. So this is going to need to be braced at both corners. And let's see what else we can get done before dark. All right, I've got this side of the fence done. I still have it pulled. But it's all nailed in. The supports are in. Now I just have to separate that last part of the fence and put one more post up, put the gate up, and I'm just about done with this pan. I guess I'll finish tomorrow night. Alrighty, so I have the gate on. It's a little bit crooked because that bolt that post I put on top but it's all right with me I straightened out the gate it works fine I have to put another post in a little more fencing and I'm ready for Wilbur and Miss Piggy good night for now so I have the other post up I reinforced this one I haven't bolted them together yet I'm probably gonna either put a bolt through them after I drill a hole or use the metal tie downs the roofing things um, I haven't stretched this fence yet it's just up I've stapled it into the tree over there and I just put it up and that's it for tonight I'm tired I have an early day tomorrow and chipper found his way in there I'm gonna put the chickens up and maybe work on this tomorrow night
I am going to get the pigs today. It's a little after 8 o'clock in the morning. I've got almost a two hour ride ahead of me. And I'm going to come back with Wilbur and Miss Piggy. So Wilbur's being good. He's finally laid down. He's got about five minutes till we're home. And he's going to get to see his girlfriend, Miss Piggy. You ready to see Miss Piggy, Wilbur? Well, I have the pigs home now. This is Miss Piggy. This is her second full day here. I let her out of her pen so she can wander about and see what she can find. Say hi, Miss Piggy. Hey, sweetie. You finding some stuff that the chickens left? There's the turkeys. And this is Wilbur. I got my pigs last weekend. And here is Wilbur. He's really pretty, I think. And he really likes Miss Piggy. Here's Miss Piggy. I have her wandering out in the yard while I'm working here and letting the chickens and turkeys free range for a little while while I'm out here so I can keep an eye on them. Say hi, Miss Piggy. You like your new home? Are you going to dig up those roots for me? I'd appreciate it. I've been feeding the pigs scraps whenever I can get hold of them and one of my dogs has decided to go underneath the gate in order to get the scraps so I have to put the concrete here again. Once again, this is what my third video on doing this kind of stuff. <laughs> but I'm just digging a V-shaped hole. I'm going to put some cardboard in this to make sure so it's not so wide and fill the sides in with sand and fill the center in with concrete and let it dry and she won't be going under there.
In this area next to the pig pen, I'm going to be building my buck pen. I just found out that I will be able to get Chipper's dad, and he's going to be back here. I figured he'll help me clear that little area, and then I can put him up front, help out with the girls for a little while, and help them clear the front area which is a very slow process, but that's okay. That means there's plenty of food. All right, so I've got another concrete threshold built. I used the cardboard to help keep the, keep it nice and neat. And it's nice and thick. And it goes right up to the bottom of the door. That'll dry and I'll cut the cardboard away or if it rains, it'll just rot away. And there's Miss Piggy's place, so the other dogs can't get to her food. Love those dogs. Here's Miss Piggy. She likes her belly rubbed. You're a good girl. You came back into your pen when I called you. You're a sweetie pie. Well, we gotta trim those nails. Look at that. Look how long they are. They shouldn't be that long. I'm gonna get the clippers and trim your nails. You a good girl. Alrighty. All right, here's an update. This is Wilbur's pen. And he keeps knocking over his food bowls. So I found the sink actually at the dump today in the recycling, which it didn't belong there because it's metal. And took it home and I screwed it to this fence so that he can't knock it over. And he sure is trying. But at least it gives me some place to put his food that won't be in the dirt so much until he puts it there. I had this with the black bowl in it, but he moved that concrete block. Thank you for watching while I build the pig pen and put Miss Piggy in hers and Wilbur in his. Please subscribe if you haven't already to the channel and hit the notification button so you'll know when we get new videos. Until next time, have a great day and I'll see you on the next vlog.